people welcome back to my youtube channel Elliot wave principle in today's video I'm going to discuss gold and gold only the whole reason I'm sharing on YouTube uh, my analysis uh, is because I was strongly bearish and I want you I want to present my idea that I have changed my mind uh, last few days ago and the whole reason was that price is not expect uh, was not doing what I thought was would do would happen and uh, it has been long enough. We haven't seen any strong bearish price action and I went on and did some research and realized that uh, the, my idea of bear, strongly bearish gold uh, is completely wrong. Uh, so we were able to, as a result of price action behavior, we were able to take uh, uh, take benefit all of all of the price action. But one thing is to be sure and that the price is not heading downward. So we are going to discuss that let's have a look at a weekly chart the whole reason I'm sharing on YouTube is because most of the people if someone actually took uh, my advice as a bear strong bearish I want them to if they took my advice I want them to uh, look at this analysis as well the previous analysis that I was I did was on September 29 is available on my YouTube and you can refer to it so uh, we'll leave these line alone Initially, I was of the point that the correction has not completed right over here, and then we are probably going to create a move downward, creating some sort of expanded flat. Now that I have looked into more data, I realized that the uh, labeling was wrong. Instead, we are right now looking for wave one and two, and three and four, and then we are looking for a strong impulsive action upward. So that's my point right now. On a daily chart, let's have a look and try to label this price action. And if you look at it, let me turn this into a black line so that people can actually see it. Okay. So the whole reason, uh, if you look at the analysis, I'm considering this whole as a wave W, with this in center part being a triangle. So we can clearly see that actually it looks like a triangle. And I was considering it as a different wave uh, initially. And then right over here. So we can consider this whole price movement as a zigzag and this whole price movement as wave A, wave B and wave C, a flat correction. Let me quickly uh, label this as uh, wave A, wave B and then wave C, okay? So you can look at this way in that and that becomes X and then we have another Y down right over here. I guess that this completes right over here. And right now I'm thinking that this is more kind of a flat correction. We were thinking of it a flat correction and right now that's why I'd, I'm going to consider it as, as a flat correction. Okay. And I believe this is another X. And now on some platforms we saw that there was another bottom that created below this bottom. That's why I'm unable to uh, I'm not going to consider this whole price movement to try to consider it as a triangle. In some of the uh, platforms, I think the lower bottom was created around 1668 or something, so which is much lower than what we have right over here. That's the reason I'm considering it as a as a that. Okay. So what does that mean? What are the all that means is that uh, we have completed the triple zigzag uh, W X Y X Z uh, price behavior. We are also above the very important support, which. Uh, gold has tried three times and it's not broken and which is this one if you look at the previous price action we have only one support the, the last support coming in action not only one the last support that came in action was this one gold made three tram stem uh, tries or you can say two tries one right over here or if you can consider, consider it one and two and then this is third and I'm rec right now thinking that this price action is rather corrective I'm considering this as W X and Y so let's have a look on a four overly type right so I'm whole considering it as a a B and C and this is as X and an a B and C so I'm right now considering that we are going to see further price action going upward this is the the call is a uh, and uh, how are we going to sh be sure uh, first of all let's delete that in my previous analysis I have uh, used this trend line as well so I have drawn this trend line right from the top and uh, this is right now connecting one two three and four points so this trend line or you can actually draw a channel I indicated that before as well that we can turn this into a channel instead of a just a simple line so once prices are able to actually clear this area and that will be clearly indication that the bearish trend has actually uh, been negated and we have a confirmation of uh, bullish trend so it's better to wait for the price action I'm more uh, centered toward bullish 
uh, a strong uh, shout out to all the people who are really uh, bullish on my channel and we got into quite a bit of heated debate so a very good uh, I would say forecast or analysis uh, but the thing is whatever they were looking at is they were thinking that the price would go up straight instead that did not happen then then they were expecting the prices to go up that did not happen and here people were expecting price to go up but one thing I would give them and they were saying that the long term the fundamentals are looking very bullish for gold and that's what's the case. The bullish and the uh, lot of uh, fundamentals that are occurring right now are really strongly bullish for gold and right now we have the case for uh, price movement as well. And what gave what break my heart broke my heart was this price action. I have seen wave threes and if you look at it we were considering this as wave one right over here and if you look at this price action it does not look like wave three. So that just waved a red flag on me and they said no my analysis is wrong and that was the one major reason that I had to change my analysis. And I'm not considering it as wave uh, as a triangle once again because on some of the platforms a lower low was created somewhere around 1660 or, or 68 or 58. Whatever it was it was much lower as compared to this one so I'm not looking at it as a triangle. What right now I'm looking at is the prices are going to continue upward. So. Uh, let's see uh, in coming weeks what's happened. A confirmation, two more. If you want to look at a closer confirmation instead of this one, a good confirmation would come around 1835. That will be when prices can cross the 1835. That will be indication. You guys can can see we have kind of strong. Uh, head and shoulder pattern uh, here we have left ha left shoulder and the right shoulder is much lower as compared to this one but we have a very defined uh, neckline and then we have a head as well so a reverse head and shoulder pattern is uh, is that w is what that you're looking at it is not exactly ideal but that's what we are looking at right now let me zoom let me see if i can uh, clearly uh, no this will be actually uh, this will be a better way to do it. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I hope that you can now see the reverse head and shoulder pattern. The right shoulder is a little lower, but once again, we are not dealing with the ideal world right now here. In next weeks, I'm expecting for gold to continue higher. Uh, there is a change in the U.S. dollar uh, index basket currencies. Uh, is they are going to show different behavior. Uh, I believe that there is going to be some dis attachment from gold. I will discuss them in detail and silver also in detail uh, on my Patreon page. Uh, this is the last video as a large time. Actually, I won't say large. I would last time I would discuss gold but not on a final level right we'll see in coming weeks how i can come up with a free content for uh, audience on youtube channel so if you want to visit me it's a very small fees of 29 us dollar uh, it just shows that uh, uh, all right you are uh, contributing something toward what i'm putting on uh, we were able to if you look at my whole analysis on youtube we were able to take benefit of this whole bearish price section but now things are we have to really stretch them out this is not wave three of three i uh, wish you good luck with your gold bulls uh, i have personally and this is for people who are interested in bullion i live in in canada here in north america that's the united states of america mexico and all these countries and i'm pretty sure in europe and probably britain too a lot of people are actually uh, getting sil their hands on on silver as a result the demand uh, or what you guys can say is the price level for physical silver has m almost doubled in some of the currencies. I went on to uh, get uh, some silver on a local shop. The guy was asking, uh, I think, $60 Canadian. That comes out to be around $47 US. And right now, go silver is actually trading around around $22 an ounce. So the person is asking for $47 an ounce. That tells you how much uh, there is uh, th the premium they are charging right now. Just because there are some people who are interested in physical silver. On the other hand, if you go looking for physical gold per ounce, uh, ideally they are only charging just $100 US, $100 Canadian. Here in Canada, uh, the shops are charging just $100 extra on on the on the spot price and which is not bad you know they have to pay bills and they are displaying it on their shops not that bad but uh, so that's the <coughs> pardon me for that that is the reason I went into actually investing uh, into physical gold instead of physical silver 
because there is no point of actually investing on silver on on this level at least wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye